And hello, it's Bonic Vapor. Today I come at you with a new tool and a toy for your stream overlay, aka a new bot, and it's free to use. Stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, um, so this is Kapelmon. Um, the link will be down below the description. If you click on it, matter of fact, it will be my affiliate link on there, and you don't have to buy anything. There's, it's totally free. Um, but Kapelmon is a pretty cool little stream pet, virtual stream pet, for your overlay. Now, you're probably asking yourself, well, why would I uh, Bionic? Why would I go with uh, a stream pet overlay? Um, one, for cuteness sake. Two, uh, because the fact that it gives your uh, viewers, while they're in chat, something more to interact with. For instance, if you're in a loading screen or you're knee deep in Wrecking Fools on Fortnite or PUBG and you really don't have time to respond to chat or whatever, it gives them something kind of to play with, something to laugh at. Or, um, I mean, you could use it so many different ways. But, uh, so yeah, so uh, it's Capamon.com. Uh, we're going to sign in with my Twitch. It's just, it's that easy. All right, boom. Now we're here, and there I am. See, boom. It automatically recognizes my Twitch account, this and that. Uh, basically, on your screen, it's going to pop up and it's say, do you allow it, blah, blah, blah. Allow it. It's fine. Um, now, I did read in uh, the latest developer update that they're going to be doing away with the low resolution. So try to stay away with that. So when doing your Kappa... You're going to want to do high resolution. Oh, sorry. I scarfed down some soup and it's coming back up. Damn, that's harsh. Okay, so uh, you got different, uh, you got your options panel. Um, we're going on there. It's You can change the facing on what direction your Kappa faces. Uh, you can reveal commands. Uh, you can also connect it to your Spotify account. So that way when somebody types in a command exclamation point song, uh, the Kappa is, uh, the Kappa Mon, I'm uh, sorry, will respond accordingly. Um, that's probably kind of cool. I don't use Spotify personally. Uh, every, all my music requests or music playthrough is either done via by me in the background on my desktop or through VivBot, uh, when I have my, uh, viewers selecting music. Um, then you go into your commands. This is where the meat and potatoes of Kappa Mon rules. Okay. So, you have your general ones, which I would recommend leaving them alone. You can kind of tweak them here and there. But uh, the one part of the command you're not going to want to mess with is that dollar sign username. Uh, you're not going to want to mess with that. Uh, it's auto, as you see, it's set up. And then, of course, there's the trigger one. There's the one for song. So that's if you have your Spotify linked um, to Kapamon. Um, then you have your subs, you have your resubs, you even have your uh, cheers. So anytime somebody donates bits, that will go off as well. Also for hosting and anytime that you ban somebody in the channel. Uh, hopefully you don't have to use that. Um, I only have to do a ban, I would say, probably say like maybe four in a whole year. But then again, I'm a smaller streamer. Um, if you're a larger streamer, then, you know, you might want to play around with that, saying I have the power or you've been hammered by the hammer of God or, you know, I mean, be witty, do whatever. Make it make it suit your personality. Okay, so now, as you see, there's a scheduled one here in green. This one you can set up, and we'll go into it. We'll go into edit here so you can see how I set it up. So basically, I can also type in a command, which is exclamation point freaks or anyone in my channel for that part. And my Kappa then will yell out, let those freak flags fly. And that's pretty much what it says when somebody follows me, that kind of stuff. Um, now, message two, message three, I went ahead and left it blank. Image, I left it blank. Um, then you can control also what your Kappa will do. There's an attack animation. There's a dance animation. There's an eat, a gift, a greet, an idol. So I left it on dance. Now, by putting it on scheduled, I can then set up how long it's going to play. It's going to play for eight seconds. And then the cooldown time is 20 minutes. And they even recommend that over here. Schedule messages for your Kapamon will say a set interval. Having only three scheduled commands at the same time will keep your cooldown uh, above the 20 minutes recommended. So you can only have three scheduled commands at the same time. I only have one. Uh, but say you wanted uh, to shout out your YouTube um, or your Twitter or your uh, Instagram. 
You can have him do that as well, but just remember you're limited to three, so use them wisely. All right, let's get out of commands for a second. I'm gonna show you. This is my collection. I have cat, kappa bot, shooter, and reindeer. The reason why I have these four is because they're free. That's right, everyone loves the word free. But if you wanted to go in there and really make the kappa mon pet your own, you can buy. You can buy your own kappa mons. Like, to be honest with you, the one that I'm really leaning towards is the monkey. And those of you who've ever joined my stream, you would understand that I have Drizzles the monkey, the chimp, as you would say, um, in the stream, which I guess chimps don't have tails, so I guess that he would definitely qualify for a monkey. So, anyway, to fit my personality a little bit more, but to purchase it, it is $10, 10 US dollars. Now, you're probably wondering yourself, okay, what's this monetary value? What's this monetary value? Okay, the 500 coins, like I said, is $10 in US currency to buy 500 coins. Well, it's actually, I think, a little bit more than uh, 500 coins. So let's click on purchase cap of coins just so we can see it. Purchases are now enabled. Okay. So yes, it is 500. 500 cap of coins for $10. Obviously, you get bonus ones by doing supporter packs and so on and so forth. But you do have... Once again, like I said, you do have the five or four, sorry, four free Kappamons. So you can go with the reindeer, you can go with the shooter, the Kappabot, or the cat. So you're not totally limited. Now you click on Kappa World. Kappa World takes you in to where the developers update, and then you have your community. So it's pretty much self-explanatory on that. Let's go back into commands. Let's get into the nitty gritty, the meat potatoes, as I would say. Okay. The ones that I really like to focus on and the ones I really love, the reason why I like this bot, now I'm going to call it a bot. I understand it's a pet and it's part of an overlay system, but it's still a bot. The bot is basically watching your chat and it is looking for commands. If you notice, we'll go in with, well, we'll do ding dong first. Okay, so we go into ding dong here. So, the command is ding dong. Notice there is no exclamation point whatsoever in there. So that means anytime the word ding dong, and it could be mixed with anything like, yay, you're a ding dong, or ho, stop acting like a ding dong. It's going to recognize that command. And the bot then will reply with what I put in. You're the ding dong, ding dong. Okay. Then once again, I have the animation set at greet. I have the type. This is where you have to make sure you have it. Trigger you have to have exclamation points. Keyword, the bot is just searching for that word in chat. And then scheduled is you can set it to go off every so often. Once again, scheduled, you can only have three. User group, everyone, so you can actually change it. If you don't want everyone dropping and spamming your chat channel with ding dong, you can make it mods, you can make it subs only, or you can only make it yourself. So if there's a certain select word or certain select command that you don't want everyone spamming, then obviously change that user group to what you deem is necessary. Me, I would probably put it with my mods. Duration is eight seconds. Once again, you can change that. You can go 10 seconds, so on and so forth. That's how long that bubble, the chat bubble, is going to pop up above their head. I like eight seconds. Eight seconds is a pretty good. And then I go with the standard 10 cooldown seconds. Then when you're done editing, you hit save, and it's in there. Now, let's open up OBS. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using Streamlabs new OBS, aka Slob. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to now add it to our OBS. So let's go ahead and we're going to prop properly title this. We're going to cap a pet, add new source. Okay, so now it's wanting the URL. So we're going to go back in. And we're going to go back up to profile. Once again, remember I was mentioning how there's low resolution, high resolution. We want to do the high resolution. So we're going to click on show. We're going to double click there. Triple click, I mean, copy. And then we're going to drop it in. to OBS Streamlabs. Now, there is a recommended setting for the width and height. 
and you can actually read that on here. Where does it say? 650 by 400. So we got to make sure we're going to put that in as well. Oh, and of course it went down. So we're just going to right click on it again. 650 by 400. Okay, then we're going to click done. And now you can drag your bot to wherever you want them. So let's say we want them right here. That looks good. Right above my donation goal for the Elgato Stream Deck. Okay, so now we have our bot there. As you see, I have the little soldier. And now we're going to go ahead and since it's already linked to my channel, that's why I'm also using Streamlabs OBS because this is a good way to test it. We're going to go in there and we're going to type in Ding Dong. Boom. Now, as you see, the bot says, you're the ding dong, ding dong. So that's really cool. Now I'm going to show you one other thing you can do. You don't necessarily just have to use commands that trigger the bot to say something. You can also trigger the bot to show something such as a GIF or a picture. Now we're going to go in here. We're going to go on the rip. All right. A lot of people like to use that on my channel a lot because I suck at video games and I'm always dying. So they're always dropping rest in peace. So, once again, the command is rip. There's no exclamation point, nothing like that. No need for it. As long as we have it set to keyword, which it is, everyone can do it. He's going to eat instead of this time, instead of the greet last time. And you can play with the different animations, and you'll get to see what each one does. The only difference now is I have the link to Giphy, and it's linked to the actual link of the GIF that I want it to display. So notice I don't have anything in the messages. The messages are totally empty. We only have image in there. So now when that command word rip is typed into chat, whether it's in a sentence or by itself, our bot should act accordingly. Let's try it. Boom. All right. So now we have the GIF that says, well, that's great, man. And it has the great late Bill Paxton from Aliens 2 throwing around smoldering metal as the landing ship that was supposed to save them and take them back up and get them the hell off the colony planet just crashed and he is feeling desperate. Okay, that was pretty quick. If you guys have any questions or concerns or whether you like it, whether you hate it, let us know. Um, I will be adding more because as you see, you can just keep going. You can keep adding them. I have all sorts of ones in here. I have, anyone says my name, Bionic. Anyone says good game. Xeron, High, Kappa, Rect, WTF, so on and so forth. Those commands will go off. Have fun with it, and hopefully you enjoyed the stream. Have a good one. Okay, how was that sweet, to the point, and dirty tutorial on Kappamon? Please click the thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so, and leave your comments and questions below. I'll see if I can't help you out. Until then, let your freak flags fly.